Welcome to DC Radio 90.9 FM. Your issues are our concern. Um, this show right now that we've come to is called Life Hacks with Shasho. And for today's show, I have a very special, special life hack. Intended specifically for the men, because I already know you ladies can cook and you're great cooks. So this one's for you my fellow men so i know it's friday and you have a big big night planned one of you out there might be planning to cook for her cook something special so this is going to help you now imagine you have it all planned out you're going to cook you're going to set up you have the music absolutely ready and you now just plan to wait After you've done cooking, especially if it's a pasta-based meal, this hack is specifically for pasta-based meals, but I'm sure you could use it even with other things like rice. Most times, as a guy, speaking from experience, as a male, I might, I do tend to oversoak and also burn what I'm cooking. Once in a while I burn it, like, but very rarely. So what you'd like to do is if you burn pasta sauce, specifically pasta sauce, if you have burnt it and you can smell that, it's going to ruin the entire date. And this was supposed to be special. It's Friday. You both had long weeks. And you just want to have a good evening, a relaxing evening where you take control and you just show your lady a good time. Show her that she's appreciated. Burnt pasta sauce does not go well with the pasta. Just so you know. In case you're thinking, I could wing it. She probably won't notice. She will notice. She probably won't say anything. But let's make it something memorable. Tip. What you could do, once you've noticed that the pasta sauce is burnt, get a potato, peel the potato, just one, and then slice it. Not Don't slice it like you're making fries. Just slice it diagonally what, the whole way. Throw the potato in with the sauce. So what the potato does is it absorbs that moisture. That moisture that smells like burnt, that smells like burnt sauce or something's burnt and just isn't quite right. Yes, it absorbs it. On top of absorbing just the moisture, it also takes the, the, sm- the taste of burn from your pasta sauce so that it tastes as intended to be. Now, another little trick with potatoes that I would like you to take note of is the fact that it also helps to absorb the salt. So if you have over salted something, just use potatoes. Potatoes will be of tremendous, tremendous help. Remember, the key here is to make the night memorable. That's why you decided to cook. That's why we're here making sure it doesn't taste burnt. So what's going to happen is the potatoes will take all that burnt smell, all that burnt taste out of your food. Now, you've cured potentially one problem. You have another problem the dishes are also now burnt and you have to clean that so one little trick to go with the clean of your dishes is simply pour water onto the pan that's uh, burnt pour water also add vinegar put that on the stove bring that to the boil now please pay attention to this i know at this point The date was successful because you followed the little tip and the food was exquisite. But now she's gone and you obviously want to make sure your dishes are clean for you. And also for the fact that now that she thinks you're a good cook, she's coming back. She's going to want another meal and you're going to want to impress again. You can't impress with pots that are still dirty. So bring it to the boil with the vinegar. When it's done boiling, toss the water away. Add baking soda. Just throw in some baking soda there. And don't you don't even really have to let it rest. 
but I'm sure there might be excess. So you find something to do with the excess baking soda. Throw in the baking soda and then substitute of baking soda. You could also use salt. So throw that in and then get your sponge or whatever you use to clean your dishes and then just quickly clean through. You'll find it's very effective and the amount of problems you have cleaning that burnt pan or pot will be minimal. But sometimes you don't have the baking soda, so hence the soap. Trying to find ways to be very productive and help you. We want to make sure that even as you have burnt the meal, there's still something for you to be able to recover and save the date. Remember, this was an important date, hence the little tip. And in case the ladies didn't know, that's also a little tip for you. But like I said, ladies are usually much better cooks than us men. So this one was specifically for the men. And I hope it's been of great help to you. Remember the things you need. You need one potato, just one potato, slice it. Also, and this should go without saying, but you might just want to wash the potato before you put it in. One potato sliced. You need baking soda. Remember that? This is, for, this is now for cleaning the pot or pan afterwards. You need baking soda. You need water. You need vinegar. And that's all you need. Oh, and salt. Salt is mostly a substitute, but it, it pays to have it around as your first option if there's no baking soda. That's all you need. Potato, water, vinegar, baking soda, and salt for your substitute. Thank you for joining me. This has been Life Hacks on DC Talk Radio 90.9. Your issues, our concerns. Enjoy your evening. So if you must know, you're gonna be okay. But if you...